guys, so I thought I would throw a plant into one of my videos to see if it adds some spice. I don't know, really, I just wanted something in my videos and I was sick of the boring background. So, I kind of added this for the time being. I don't know how it will work, but we will just have to see. Regardless, um, today's video is all going to be going to all be about my favorite summer drugstore current favorites. That made no sense. Mike, current, my summer, uh, my favorite, no, my current summer favorites from the drugstore. I think that kind of makes sense. So these are all of like my products that I'm using throughout the summer that are, that are like my current favorites. I know I do like monthly favorites, but I thought I would just kind of do a video specifically about my favorite products that I've been loving thus far. So let's go ahead and get started. Some are like tried and true and I've used for years, and then some are relatively new for this summer. Let's start with makeup, because that's the fun stuff. Um, this first product I did a full FIF on, which was the first impression, and it's the L'Oreal Visible Lift CCI. And you guys know I was using the Garnier one forever, and that's still a really big favorite, but this one has kind of replaced it. I love it so much. These things are amazing. They're just a rollerball little tip on them looks like that and you just kind of like smooth it onto the skin it's really cool refreshing it helps depuff and it also just adds a little bit of color so that way you're like good to go and run out the door like it kind of just conceals the littlest a bit without making you look like you put a bunch of concealer on under your eyes it's not cakey it's really smoothing it's really hydrating and brightening I love this stuff highly highly recommend any sort of like rollerball like this but this one's my favorite and I'm in the color what is it medium probably or something I don't even know. It doesn't say. Oh, medium. Yep, medium. So that's the first product. Um, going on with some more face products, I have a BB cream. And BB creams are, of course, super, super popular for the summer. This one is a tried and true, super old, favorite love. I will, like, stop using this and go back to it, and I'm like, why did I ever stop? I'm wearing it today. It's the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB cream, again, in the color medium. I love this stuff. It comes out white. You massage it in and it gives a pigment and then you kind of like pat it on the skin. Rub it away. It has awesome coverage. It's not an all day sort of wear, but it is really, really awesome, um, especially for oily girls. I'm not sure if it'd be perfect for dry skin because you do have to really rub it in and it is kind of like a matte finish. It's definitely not shiny or anything dewy or anything like that. So this stuff is like my go-to for the summer months. It just makes my skin look really nice and natural. So that's that. And then if I do want a foundation foundation, the one that I've been loving this summer, and again, it's not because it's long wearing or anything. It just looks really, really nice and fresh on the skin. It is the Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Spotless Foundation. And I think, honestly, you guys, I'm probably going to be actually using this entire bottle. And that may sound strange. There's still a good amount left. But um, I never really go through that much foundation. I think I've repurchased the Revlon Color Stay once before. Besides that, I've repurchased the L'Oreal BB Cream, but like an actual, actual foundation. This stuff is amazing. So it's the Youthful Wear Spotless by Physicians Formula in the color medium. I love this stuff. You just shake it. I have a full impression on this. I will link it down below for you guys as well. Um, it's in just a little dropper. It comes out. It is very fragranted, but it is an oil-based, or an oil-based, um, what do you call it? It's kind of like a serum. I'm not sure if it's oil-based, but I really do feel like it is. It's very easy to blend on the skin, and it really just looks very natural on the skin. It doesn't last all day, but it does work through my oils. Like, I don't have... This thing is getting in my space. I don't have, like, serious breakthroughs with my oil. It really works well with my oily skin. I think it would work, work, both, work well for both, um, because I think an oil foundation can almost hold up pretty well with oily skin because oil and oil, it doesn't break each other down. Um, if you use a water-based formula, the oil is going to try to break through. So I do really, really like this, and I think that you could get away with it um, no matter what your skin type is. So I highly recommend picking this up. Just if you're oily, use a um, powder, and it's not going to last all day. It'll last me about a seven-hour work day. It'll last, I mean, I work for nine hours an hour break but technically it looks pretty bad towards the end of it but it's not the worst foundation in the world so um yeah I really have been absolutely loving it for this summer um for another concealer and days when I just want to wear like really light natural makeup and then just do a face conceal I've been obsessed with the Rimmel Match Perfection um concealer this is in light medium 335 and I have a first impression on this as well link it down below you guys um 
just linking away. But I really, in my video, I thought this was too dark for me, but now that it's been summer, it's really been awesome. This stuff has a brush tipped applicator. It's great for spot concealing. It really just looks natural. It doesn't look like you have like a spot of concealer. It kind of really just flawlessly blends into the skin if you're using it on the skin or into your foundation if you're just using it over the top of foundation. It's an amazing product. Um, it does run really dark, so if you are really fair skinned, go with the light and fair. The medium, light medium, I'm normally a medium in most things, but light medium is still on the verge of being too dark if I'm not out in the sun or something like that. But for a concealer this summer, this stuff has been lightweight and amazing. I love it. A powder that I've really, really been loving this um this summer and I recently just picked this up so it's not like a been using it throughout the whole summer but I've really been liking what I've been using so far and it's the L'Oreal True Match Mineral um, powder I think yeah I'm in the color natural buff it just looks like this and it has like a powder puff down below and I had to use it once because I picked this up um, as like a touch up spur of the moment sort of product and I really liked it the puff I don't like it looks just so cakey and Ugh, on the face but with a brush it's amazing so I really like this it gives a good amount of coverage it's not anything like crazy but it helps me control my oil and gives a good amount of coverage so I love pairing this over the top of BB creams or with uh, concealers or anything like that that's amazing another powder I'm just gonna throw in for funsies that I've been loving to put over top of foundation and stuff is the Maybelline dream wonder powder this stuff is so fine and silky um, it's a really really nice powder it is so silky to the touch and it's really really a nice powder both of them I just need a powder that's nice and fine but also gives you a decent amount of coverage for the win for the summer because I'm super super oily but uh yeah those two have been seriously faves so if you have any other drugstore favorite powders I feel like I'm gonna make a new video about that my favorite drugstore powders but let me know in the comments down below because I'm obsessed with powders and I'm an oily girl so you know how that goes um a bronzer because everyone has to have a bronzer um for the summertime this one by Nick or by um NYC is an oldie but a goodie it's just a matte bronzer it's really nice it's just in the color sunny 720a sunny basic bronzer anything I really like the elf one as well uh but I don't, I don't think I ever have even bought in a high-end bronzer. I buy in high-end blushes, which that's why I'm not mentioning a blush in this video because pretty much the majority of my blushes that I like are high-end. Um, like Benefits box powders are like my favorite summer blushes of all time. But that's my favorite bronzer. Moving on to my last bits of makeup. The, an essential for me in the summer and the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now is the NYX Matte Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Addis Ababa. I love a bright lip for the summer. It's like so pretty and just really awakening and fresh and bright and so this one is like my favorite I like the formula of these I like the color of this one specifically they're so so pretty so if you have not picked up any of these you really should if you recommend any other colors let me know in the comments down below because I really love the formula of this it stays a really long time and it's just really really pretty so that's that and then the last makeup -y product is a mascara and I picked this up it's kind of cheating I used to wear this all the time and I picked this up the other day because I needed one in a pinch it's the Maybelline Falsies uh, flared oh, I love this stuff I literally love 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 this stuff I was using the um, L'Oreal voluminous carbon black that I did a first impression on as well link down below but it just kept smudging on my lower lash line. I would look like a raccoon by the end of the day. This stuff doesn't do it for me. It's amazing. This is a great mascara, but not for the summer because it is too humid here in Florida and it smudges on me. But this, I love this stuff. Two coats and you look great. Like, you don't need to sit and build it. It's just a really easy, nice mascara. So, highly, highly recommend this. It's like my favorite for the summer. I do recommend waterproof if you are going swimming, but this is just an awesome, really easy to build and looks great in two coats sort of mascara. You don't have to finick with it, and brush another mascara through it like you guys know I like to do, but that is just perfection. So let's move on to some other randomy skincare, hair care favorites from the drugstore. So the first one I want to mention might be a weird, but it is a razor and I love these Chic Hydro razors. They're amazing. These things... They're kind of, I mean, all razor blades are kind of pricey, but these ones aren't that bad. And I just love, because you get this little, like, the silky stuff wet in the shower and it just glides over the skin. They're my favorite razors, like, of all time. So, if you haven't tried the Schick razors, I totally recommend them. And I think they're, like, five blades. Yep, five blades. 
Mm -hmm. Pretty basic. And then let's move on to some skincare. I just have one skincare favorite obsession of all time. Um, I tried the Acne Free Line about a couple of months ago, and it has been a holy grail savior for my skin. Like, not even kidding you, it's very comparable to Proactive, but a little gentler, gentler, a little more gentle. They use benzoyl peroxide, which is something that I need, and I've just decided there are two different types of acne um, bacteria, which benzoyl peroxide helps with bacterial acne, and that's what I suffer from really around my chin, just clogged pores. This stuff helps unclog pores, exfoliate, and kill bacteria. So benzoyl peroxide definitely works a lot better for me than salicylic acid acid that's the one um, so if you're looking for you know that benzoyl peroxide works better for you this is pretty much one of the only brands that I found in the drugstore that uses it so highly recommend these totally give it a whirl if your salicylic acid acne medicine is not working that well for you try that I mean I still have breakouts don't get me wrong I just do um, cuz yeah it just happens but for the most part that stuff really keeps my acne at bay and I've been loving it Moving on to some, like, a body care favorite, and this stuff, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I've been obsessed with this stuff forever. It's the Ocean Potion Everglow, and you can pick this up at Walmart for, like, two bucks. It's very comparable to the Jergens. It blends into the skin really nicely. It dries quick, and it gives you a really nice natural color. I also mix, like, a little bit of tanner in here. Like, sometimes I'll squeeze some Banana Boat summer color in here for an extra dark tint, but by itself it's great too. It's just a really nice day-to-day -day moisturizer that helps you kind of like maintain a nice bronze, but also keep moisturized. And then I have two hair care products. The first one is a dry shampoo, and I recently picked this up, and I don't love this just for its sheer ability to be a dry shampoo. I love it for the way that it makes my hair kind of have like texture and body and dirtiness weird but it just does it gives my hair like an oomph it's not flat to my head which the humidity will do to my hair this kind of just like pumps it up and gives me some texture and niceness so it's just the dry shampoo by suave you pick this up for like three bucks at like walgreens or something like that it just absorbs the oil but it kind of just gives it some texture and body so don't love this for like if you want to look like you don't have dirty hair because it almost makes you look like you have dirty hair but i don't brush it through or anything i just kind of spray it and mess it up and it looks awesome so that's that and then the last hair care favorite I have um, when I do apply heat to my hair which isn't very often in the summer I like the Conair U curl these things make your curls last forever which is why I love it um, this is the largest wand I believe but it's just really nice because you can curl your hair with this once and it stays so you can like you know rock dirty curly hair for a while if you guys want to see like a beachy hair tutorial let me know in the comments down below i've been thinking about doing one but this is my go-to curling iron for the summer so yeah guys those are all of my beauty um summer favorites currently from the drugstore if you guys want to see a fashion favorites not from the drugstore obviously but like a summer fashion favorites essentials sort of video let me know in the comments down below and i would be happy to film one of those shortly for you guys um but until then i hope you all are having a great summer let me know what your favorite summer essential is in the comments down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!